Hey everyone, this is 3 Skate, and this is a recent pickup of mine. And this game is called Muramasa the Demon Blade. Really, really creative game, I just have to say that. And the effects for it is just amazing. I don't know if my dads will be able to capture it all. Maybe it'll do that whole frame limit thing. But uh, I'm just gonna show you some gameplay footage. I uh, just got it. Um, today, pretty much, that's why it's called recent, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, look it up. So, there are RPG elements in this game. pronounce that but apparently her name means Princess Peach so if you can get that <laughs> if you can guess that reference then good for you uh, oh yeah so you see that black arrow where that map is where I'm really supposed to go that definitely does work where you just press the Z button and you can see the entire thing kinda so you can know where you're going Uh, combat is just always smooth. I mean, it's just always fast. Crap. Yeah, so here's one thing your blade does break. So, in case that happens, you hold the L button, and there's your new blade right there. You can choose up to three different types of blades. I don't know if I pronounced it right. And there's the little special you got for your sword. When you press the Y button, each uh, sword has that. And, uh, oh. Well, now that I'm on the subject, that upper corner where it says Earth Hornet, that is your meter for each special that you pull off. So you can't do it all the time, of course. So if you want that to fill up faster, just switch to a different sword, which you press the L button for. And at your upper left corner is your health. It's 821 by 581, and 581 is of course my health right now. And there are different styles of the swords, so it's heavy, you know, heavy sword type of movement. But it's extremely powerful. And this one offers flame powers. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Man. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh. Items, of course, you got the recovery items, which I'll use here. And you also, if you just want to forget about the pause option, you just press the right trigger and there's your options of what to choose from. You can edit the items that you want. So if you want, uh, say I want, crap, my mistake, let's say I want, I forget how to replace it. I think it's this, yeah. So if you want to replace it, you can, um, Go back to your option, your items menu, and replace it, and that way it'll be on the R screen or the R side of the screen. The right side, I'm pressing the R button. What am I saying? And all the, all I'm doing is pressing the A button. So that's pretty much how I get the whole battle going across. I love the music in this game. But this one in particular is my most favorite so far. Especially the battle theme. I think that's really just fast paced. Definitely gets you going. Oh, 
Oh, not an enemy. Cool. Crap, crap, crap. It's not good. Crap. You got some wrong stuff. No. That's what I wanted to do. I wonder why I didn't do it before. Those ice people again. Ice people. Ice demon. <laughs> Elemental demon. Oh, level up. Oh, when you level up, you don't like uh, get like speed abilities or anything like that. You don't learn like new moves. You just uh, your health just goes up, and I you pretty much go stronger. But that's the only difference. It's not like your speed goes faster. It's not like you go faster or anything like that, so. Okay, I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. I'm a pedestrian. Where's uh. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, to create new swords. Yeah, that's really cool. I love that option. I'll go to it right after this little quick battle. <laughs> Alright. So. Here's a map, you're cooking, you can learn different types of cooking lessons when you go to an item shop. You just pay for cooking lessons or like a cooking tutorial or something like that. And you can learn how to make food. Like that. <laughs> you just hold, just press the A button and hold it. And there's your cooking app. Which I think, oh wait. Where's the yam? Where is it? Oh, sweet potato. There we go. Now, each one that you cook, it also offers like different types of uh, different types of special abilities. Like you can get all sorts of extra things with it. Once you finish, once the fullness goes down, I think you get extra stuff. Like um, health drain was one that I had where it just drains your opponent's health. I don't think it will do it this time, but. I guess at certain times it doesn't. You have like health strain and your strength will increase for a tad bit. Sharing stuff like that. Um, let's go up here. Since it's the only way to go. I'm sorry if it lags, but yeah, that's my that's my dazzle. <laughs> A sword rain. Oh, safe spot. See how much. Wow, eight minutes. And I think this is a boss area. I will. I will show you. Um, Kisuke's segment later on. Probably not tonight, considering that it's real pretty late. So I'll probably post this up. Well, look a fox or whatever you are. Well, I'm running low on time, so I'll just cut it off here. But I will show you uh, Kisuke's uh, style and fighting in the next one. So, CK signing out. I hope you all enjoyed it. クロミツはその極卒が持つ滑殺自在の大なたを地獄より持ち出して刀に打ち直したのだと言われておる。クロミツの生活近く、鎌倉あたりであれば他にも作刀が埋もれておる矢元を探し回ってみたが、トロであった